Today, I thought I would start off with the Globbuster, the Tamiya. Now, the last time I used this uh, in a video way back, um, we took this on the beach. It was really good fun and it performed really well, but now it's covered in sand. And also, um, this is broken. Lights, need new lights. Um, and the one of the cables to the motors has come away, so they will need resoldering on. And the whole thing is just really covered in sand and needs a good strip down and a rebuild. So, I thought over the next couple of videos, um, I would document rebuilding the thing. Now, I did it a very partial rebuild of this when I first got it, because I didn't really need it, uh, putting on the axle steering and stuff like that. But this time, the idea is I'm going to strip the whole thing right down to basics, replace the bearings, replace anything that he's replacing, potentially upgrade a few bits and pieces, and go from there. So, let's have a look and get started, don't we? Okay, so we've got the uh, club buster on the bench here. And I think the first thing we've got to do is take off those wheels. So let's do that. So let's get those wheels off. It's always handy to have a, if you get a Chinese takeaway, put your bits and pieces in there as you take them off so you don't lose them. Okay, so we're just left with the chassis, like so. Now, let's get the electrics off the top. Okay, so we can now unplug the connections for the motors. Now, this truck um, has featured a few times on my channel. Um, you've got the Quick One 880 Dual, so it controls both motors, because of course on the Club Buster you've got two motors. And I go for the Fly Sky controller, which enables me, again, in other videos, I've shown you how to use the uh, Fly Sky i6 with RC cars. I'll put the links here, is it? Yeah, right here. Anyway, um, check those out. Let's get this off. Chassis. And that's the uh, electronics removed, and you can see the 880 dual motor controller and the FSIA6 receiver. We'll put that away. We'll just over there. So now we're left with just the remainder of the chassis. Now one of the things that I've noticed on this car and it's picked up actually um, the guy that does the UK Monster um, bits and pieces, the, the axle steering uh, part, um he noticed that i've got these um hubs are two left or two right on both ends they're actually wrong so what i've done is i've brought i've bought the correct fittings as well so i'll get those changed as you can see if we just look at the truck here there's an awful lot of caked up sand and things like that anyway oh I've actually got half the beach inside it. I was just noticing this shock here is completely gone. Um, so I'd need to look at getting those replaced. So let's carry on taking the thing apart. So now we have all the shocks removed and now we'll continue to remove the rest of the chassis from the car. With the suspension removed, we're just going to remove these struts here 
um, and then remove these parts away and then that takes the main bulk of the chassis off of the car. So let's do that. Now, I can take these cars apart really easily, but what's really good is you can actually download the manual from the Tamiya website, links below, and then as long as you've got all the screws, you can hold them up to the manual, and it gives you the exact sizes, and you just put it back together. You read the manual. And you do have to be careful with those bits, because they are quite brittle, and yeah, it's quite, so we don't want to break those. So when you pull them off there, just be really careful. Yeah. Um, the stay, which holds the, um, well it stops the chassis twisting. What I did is so just remove those as well. Obviously, because you won't be able to take the car apart, boys. So these are the part here. They just basically stop the chassis twisting. Um, you can get, they come with a kit, but you can order metal ones, which is what I've done here. Okay, so I've just started work on the rear, front, front, and I've removed the servo. So I'm just starting to remove the, the whole steering linkage as well. Um, just trying to keep it in and as much tacked together as possible um, so it's easy to put back together later so I've removed the front steering linkage 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 it's all in one piece now like I said I might have to change these hubs over um, now the bearings actually feel really good have to see um, but you see you've got these circlips and they'll be need to come off before I can remove those hubs Now, the next part, I'm going to get this gearbox out. So just having a quick look at this gearbox, it feels really rough. And I've noticed that the bearings actually are bushes here. So they'll need replacing. And this linkage here feels terrible. But we'll take that apart and get them off. So we've removed the rear gearbox. So that'll be ready to dis be disassembled and cleaned up. And we're left with these arms like this. And then we'll do exactly the same on the rear. It's exactly the same, it's almost the same but round the other way so this assembly is exactly the same we'll do that next okay so i've removed the rear gearbox and i think that's as far as i'm going to go this time um i've got to make sure that i put everything in um labeled up front and rear um now i'll show you what i've got in terms of parts and everything else. So this is the rear gearbox. You can see the cable is broken from this one. Um, so it's got sold on a new one. It's completely caked in sand. So it's gonna need a complete nut strip down and rebuilt, it's really rough. This is the rear, uh, the rear steering linkage. Again, that's gonna be needed to pull it apart. I'm gonna have to change over one of the hubs because like I said, these two of the same side. Same from the front as well. Front gearbox is all pretty dusty, needs a good clean. I'm not sure I'm gonna change the motors yet. They'll probably just need a clean up and a service, but we'll see. And of course the chassis. Um, these will need taking off and re-greasing. And we'll do them another point 
probably once I've got the gearboxes rebuilt and ready to go back onto the truck chassis. Um, this is my box of parts <laughs> and screws so far, all covered in sand. And these are the old suspension links. Um, yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to use those yet. We'll see. Right, so um, bench full of bits. Uh, the, there's sand all over my bench. There's sand on the floor. There's sand in my eyes. Yes, that's right, from where I've blown the car and sand's gone everywhere. Um, the whole thing uh, just needs completely stripped down. Now, I've stripped it down to just the chassis at the moment. Um, rear gearbox. I've got the front gearbox over here, um, rear steering linkage and front steering linkage. The whole thing again, like I said, we'll need, swap, we'll need stripping down. I need to go away and take stock and see what parts I need. So this will be the first episode of me just stripping it down. Not particularly exciting, but I'm sure um, you know, you'll get something out of it. And like I said, these hubs are to the same. They're supposed to be like um, uh, a different one on either side. So whoever built this car originally used two of the same parts. So I'll address that as well. Um, yeah, that that's um, about it for now. So thanks for watching this first episode. Um, I'm gonna take some more pictures and put them on my socials. So check out Facebook and Instagram and all that rubbish. Um, and uh, also check out my website if I put it that side or that side, uh, tomstc.co.uk. I'll try and document a bit more on there on the website as well. Other than that, thanks for watching. Please give me a like and a subscribe, and we'll um, go from there. See you next time.